What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Monday morning to you. I feel like I miss you. I feel like it's been a few days. I miss you. I'm ready to dive back in. We're in a little mini-series called The Pathway to Success. We've been unpacking 2 Peter chapter 1, and we really kind of opened last week with a lot of context, but it's such a rich passage. And in it, he ends up giving you kind of eight, what I want to call ingredients, or what he actually calls um, qualities that lead to success. Watch, this is how it goes. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your, and he gives eight things, add to your faith, goodness, goodness, knowledge, knowledge, self-control, self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if any man does not have them, he's nearsighted and blind and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. But if you do these things, you will never fall and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, so many cool kind of components to this. We've talked about everything from like increasing measure, right? Like we don't want to just get these things and stop because that's not how it works. You actually get these things in a increasing measure, meaning even though if I attain faith, I never just stop there. Actually, faith is something I can continue to grow in. Another idea we talked about was just the fact that this divine power has already been given to us. It's already there. Uh, we talked about what success is, that it's really the fulfillment of purpose. And so, but as we unpack these eight things, last week we did talk about faith, but today we want to talk about what this version of the Bible says is goodness, but what another translation, I like it better, it says virtue virtue. And so faith is the first ingredient to success, but then it becomes virtue or goodness or what the word actually might be unpacked better as moral excellence. Um, I love thinking about virtues. As a matter of fact, we did a series several years ago now called Forgotten Virtues, where we talked about some really almost things that we think of as like old school habits, attitudes, and mentalities, old school virtues that are being lost maybe in today's modern world. And so I think the virtues are powerful. I think as, if you go back far enough into the early centuries of Christianity, they actually developed something called the seven theological virtues. And they actually were offsetting the seven deadly sins. If you go read, what the, which is not in the Bible, it's something that Christian leaders came up with. But if you look at the seven deadly sins, there's seven godly virtues that really offset these things. And I want to give those to you today and just kind of overview them. Um, these things are so powerful. I could literally spend seven devotions on just these, but they're, they're just so good. Watch this. These are the seven virtues. Number one, chastity, or we would say the word purity, maybe, that purity matters. Purity of thought, purity of heart. Um, I think when we think of purity, a lot of times we do consider sexual purity as a component to that and saying, hey, no, this is, if there's anything in life that is going to taint what's in my heart, what's in my thoughts, and therefore what comes out of my actions, let me stay pure. Temperance, um, we might think of it more in the, in the realm of like self-discipline. The ability to say no to yourself is a powerful thing. It's a virtue. Um, charity, that's another old school word. We would probably say the word love. The ability to love somebody. Um, here's another one, diligence. Really powerful term used, I think, especially in the book of Proverbs. Your ability to do excellent work diligently. Power, powerful thing. Um, next one, patience. Oh, man, the ability to stay calm while you wait and not jump ahead of God's timing for your life, to trust God and to rest in the fact that God's timing is better than my timing. That's a powerful thing. Kindness. Kindness just goes back to like, how do I treat my fellow man? How do I treat my neighbor? How do I treat my spouse? How do I treat my dog? You know, can I just be a kind soul? And then lastly, humility. And so I just want you to see these things as virtues. Again, humility, one of the most powerful ones, because humility is what protects you from pride. Humility is where I, I don't let ego get the best of me. I'm not arrogant, but I'm also not so insecure and self-conscious that I need all kinds of attention. Uh, the famous C.S. Lewis quote is my favorite, that humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's just thinking of yourself less. And man, I just said a whole mouthful. And so I'd like you to consider these things. These are virtues that we pursue. Again, not ever fully attaining, but we pursue these things with an increasing measure. We're trying to constantly get better at our ability to love, to stay pure, to be diligent, all these things. And if we do these things, I mean, again, to pursue virtue, that alone is a lifelong pursuit. But 
it is a pursuit that is worth it. Because Peter said, it is, a, it is a pursuit that will produce fruit in your life and will keep you from falling. And so let us have our mind on these things. This is, again, why it's so important to be at church on Sunday morning, to, to be in the scriptures, to be in devotion time with God, and to constantly have something before you that says, no, no, God is speaking to me. I'm pursuing something better for my life because I want to be on that upward trajectory, that pathway to success. Can I get an amen? Let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I lift up those within the sound of my voice. God, may we be in pursuit of virtue, of goodness, and of moral excellence. God, help us to be about that so that, God, we can walk in your path to success, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Church, I love you so much. God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.